हॅलो एव्हरीवन आय एम शिवानी अँड वेलकम टू सिव्हिल सिरीज सो दिस व्हिडिओ इज अबाउट द शॉर्ट नोट्स ऑफ सर्व्हिंग इन द प्रिव्हियस व्हिडिओज वी डिस्कस द टू सब्जेक्ट एज अ शॉर्ट नोट विच इज सॉम अँड टॉस सो दिस व्हिडिओ इज ऑल अबाउट द सर्व्हिंग सो इन दिस व्हिडिओ we discuss the introductory part of serving and uh, in that serving is an art of determining the relative positions okay serving is an art of determining the relative positions of points which are on above or beneath the surface of the earth in case of serving we are calculating indirect measurements directions and elevations okay we are going to study these points in case of serving okay so next classification of serving to classify the serving first we know about the earth okay so shape of earth is oblate spheroid average radius of earth is 6370 km there are two axes in case of earth polar axis and equatorial axis polar axis is vertical axis equatorial axis is horizontal axis difference between polar axis and equatorial axis is 43.44 km okay polar axis is shorter than the equatorial axis and difference between that is 43.44 km it is asked in exam that difference between polar axis and equatorial axis okay then next term is great circle there is a one circle which is at the center of earth or around the equatorial axis okay the circle passing through the center of earth horizontally known as great circle that shape of earth is also known as geoid shape or oblate spheroid and uh, if we draw a lines on the earth surface because of uh, because of the surface of earth that line drawn as a curve okay and if we join that lines and make a one triangle then that triangle a spherical triangle okay that triangle act as a spherical triangle and that spherical triangle summation of the angles of that spherical triangle is more than 180 degree the next the next important part of classification is primary classification primary classification in that two surveys are divided first one is plane surveying second one is geodetic surveying okay both the surveys are important and questions are asked point then uh, a little bit difference between plane surveying and geodetic surveying okay plane surveying is carried out for small areas okay that is 250 to 260 meter square up to that area we carried out the plane surveying and for the larger areas means area more than 260 kilometers sorry the area more than 260 meter square for that kind of areas we use geodetic surveying okay in plane surveying area is shorter area is small so that's why that surface is considered as plane okay so the first area is small which is 250 to 260 meter square second point in plane surveying is because the area is small the surface is considered as plane means in case of plane surveying curvature is neglected in case of plane surveying curvature is neglected then in case serving the area is large which is more than 250 meter square or 260 meter square and because the area is larger here then the curvature of the earth is considered okay so geodetic serving and that curvature of earth is considered in plane serving plane triangles are formed because area is short area is small so that's why if we draw a lines on that surface then we get a plane triangle and in case of geodetic surveying the area is larger if we draw triangles on that we get a spherical triangle okay so planes are used for less precise work for very uh, less precise work we use the plane surveying and for more precise work means for higher accuracy we use the geodetic surveying okay the next uh, two important points are there in that uh, if the length of arc okay if the arc which is formed on the surface of the earth is 12 kilometers or 18.2 kilometers 
12 kilometers or 18.2 kilometers long if that thing is possible then the chord of that arc is lesser by means if arc is 12 kilometers then that chord is 11 kilometers okay then same next point is the difference between the sum of the plane triangles and the sum of the spherical triangle angles is only one second if the area is 195 square kilometer if the area is 195 kilometer square then the difference between sum of angles of plane triangle and spherical triangle is one second okay then next is Secondary classification based on function this classification is done. First is control surveying. Control surveying is to establish the control points of survey. Then second is land surveying. Land surveying is also known as cadastral survey or cadastral surveying and then this is used to fix the boundaries of the plot. Okay control surveying for establishing the control points of survey and land or cadastral survey is used to set or fix the boundaries of plot then next is city surveying in case of city surveying the things are its water supply lines within city these surveyings related to street and water supply lines is known as city surveying then next topographical surveying in case of topographical surveying we deal with natural and artificial features that is river and undulations so the surveying of this river and undulations topographical region is known as topographical surveying then next is root surveying in case of root surveying those things which are used to travel which are used to uh, as a route or a road for uh, transportation that is under the route surveying for example road railway channel and sewer lines then next is mine surveying to determine the minerals info underground okay to determine the mineral info which is underground is known as mine surveying then then hydrographic surveying in case of hydrographic surveying the surveying is related to water bodies okay survey near the large water bodies is known as hydrographic surveying then engineering surveying for planning establishing and estimate, estimating designing is known as engineering surveying okay the planning estimating and designing all the three are under the engineering surveying then astronomic survey in case of astronomic survey here we determine the location of heavenly bodies okay determine the location of heavenly bodies that is sun and stars then satellite then satellite survey next is geological survey in case of geological survey we deal with soil strata then construction survey the points are transferred from plan to ground is under the construction survey then two miscellaneous surveys are there in that first one is military survey to determine the strategic important points before war we use military survey to determine strategic important points before war we use military survey then next is archaeological survey in that we done the relics of antiquity okay so these are the secondary secondary classifications principle of surveying there are two principles of surveying first one is working from whole to part so working from whole to part means first fix all the exterior points fix all the exterior point next whole area means that fixed point area into small parts then do the survey on that individual part so this is the procedure of working from whole to part and because of this procedure we prevent a transfer of error from one location to other location okay because of this working from whole to part we prevent the error from one location to other location because here we do a survey of individual part okay next to avoid the accumulation of error we do the surveying like work whole to part then because of this the localization of error happens because of this the localization of error happens location of point by measurement from two point of reference location of point by measurement 
from two point of reference if we have a two points uh, as a line points means linear measurement survey or as a angle points on the basis of that two points third point so this is the second principle means in case of surveying first we know about the two points okay means two known points are there to done the surveying okay we require two known points to find out third unknown point okay then next is maps and plans plan is a graphical representation of the features which are on above and near the surface of the earth for map the scale is small for map we use small scale and for plan large scale okay plan are the graphical representation scale is a fixed ratio that every distance on the plan bears with corresponding distance on the ground scale is a fixed ratio that every distance on the plan bears with corresponding distance on the ground there are two types to represent a scale first one is engineering scale in in case of engineering scale we represent the scale as 1 cm is equals to 10 m okay or 1 cm is equals to 2 km or 1 cm is equals to 500 this is how we represent the engineering scale 1 cm equals to 100 or 10 m means what that 1 cm scale on map is equals to 10 m on ground okay this is the explanation for 1 cm is equals to 10 m and is representative factor first is engineering scale then next representation is representative factor okay here we indicate the scale in a ratio form okay for example 1 cm is equal to 10 m okay so to represent that in a representative is 1 as 1 1 cm 1 uh, as 1 and for 10 m okay take that 10 m in the denominator and convert this 10 m into cm for converting the meter to cm we use 100 or two zeros okay so here 1 by 1000 by 1000 is the representative factor for 1 cm is equals to 10 m okay so these are the examples for representing or representative factor and engineering scale then next classification of scale so there are three classifications large scale medium scale and small scale okay so before i explained you that 1 cm is equal to 10 m 1 cm on map and 10 m on plan so this is how meter is equals to 10 m scale if we use 1 cm if we use 1 cm less than or equal to 10 m less than or equal to 10 m okay if we draw 10 m plan from ground we use 1 cm scale for 10 m then scale is very large scale and if we use 100 m on plan on plan and 1 cm on map okay for 100 m we take 1 cm then that is a small scale okay first 1 cm is less than or equal to 10 m large scale 1 cm than or equal to 100 m then that is small scale in between that 1 cm is equals to 10 to 100 m so that is the medium scale so this is how the differentiation of class classification of the scale okay here they ask that they give an example that it is equal to 10 m or 1 cm is equals to 2 km they just ask you that write this engineering scale into representative factor and then decide which kind of scale is that that large scale medium scale or small scale so this is how the question they ask from this kind of a okay so here we end uh, this first video here and this is the pure introduction for the surveying and simplest part of surveying in the next video we'll see the remaining part and we'll start the chain surveying in the next video so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching